Monica, tell me, what are you hearing from Team Trump? Well, this is so significant for several reasons, Alicia. And the first thing we should point out is that, of course, NBC hasn't independently reviewed these documents and the New York Times hasn't published them for us to see. But the subject of the president's tax returns has been something we've been talking about for years since then candidate Trump promised to release them. And of course, he never did. He continually would say each year during the administration that they were under audit. That's something he continued to claim today in this press briefing and so often Often when the president is brought something that he really deems unfair, he simply decries it as fake news. He dismissed the story completely as totally fake in his words. And if the past is any indication, that's something usually that the president does as a knee jerk reaction when really it's something that really gets under his skin and upsets him. And we know that the issue of tax returns is something like that because for years Democrats have been pushing. And of course, there were those two cases before the Supreme Court uh, just last month that dealt with the president's tax returns, one that really was on the Hill and one that is the subject of investigation in New York. And neither and ultimately resulted with us getting our hands on those tax returns mm -hmm. and certainly no indication that will happen before the election, but it continues to be critical. And yes, the New York Times has said this is just the first of several reports, but I think there, if you saw the president, his sort of anger and the way he dismissed it, that's a good preview of what he's going to continue continue to say, but that entire news conference was so unusual for a lot of reasons, Alicia. First of all, he's currently right now supposed to be meeting behind closed doors with Gold Star families along with the First Lady. Instead, he was doing this freewheeling news conference with former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and his personal attorney Rudy Giuliani. This was added to the schedule very late in the day, but before this major New York Times story broke, it's possible, of course, the White House had a heads up. It was coming when they were asked for comment, so they wanted to get out and respond to it, but he didn't bring it up. Instead, he went on a ma major myriad of topics from railing against his opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden, talking about tremendous enthusiasm at his own rallies and going on and talking also about the nomination of Judge Amy Coney Barrett. It was only when a reporter in the question and answer section brought up the New York Times report that the president dismissed it. But this is not something that he's going to be able to brush aside, Alicia, as many people will continue to ask him questions. And you can bet it will come up in that first general election debate on Tuesday night in Cleveland. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.